this is a bit of a different video and you can probably tell from the background that I'm not in the gym and that's because I am abroad and I did line up some videos or a couple of videos at least but they all ran out very quickly because you can only go gym so many times in a week so I'm just recording this to update the channel and let you know what's going on and that <clears throat> I was thinking of making a how to maintain muscle on a holiday video but if you're on a holiday you've taken that holiday for a reason and if you really do want to hit a gym or you've, you're fortunate enough to actually have a gym in your hotel that you're staying at or just any place that you're staying at then obviously go and use it if you want to but it could be a good way to deload and overcome any plateaus because if you've constantly been working out non-stop every day at least for probably one rest day a week it can be very easy to hit plateaus so if you take like one week off two weeks off and you'll still be doing stuff so if i was hiking today that's a lot of cardio i'm pretty sure i've done like 40 000 steps and that's mostly on a very steep incline not only on a flat road so you're not really just being lazy and stagnant so say if you go to the beach go swim if you can because that's also extremely good cardio and if you ever have tried swimming for a long distance because i used to swim when i was younger i'd go to leisure centers and i'll just swim a lot because i used to actually be very good at swimming but it's a very very difficult and tiring method of transport if you will because you're taking up and using up your whole body so you're using your arms and it's very shoulder intensive as well you feel your shoulders burning up a lot but it's also a very good way of exercising because for example if you're running that's a lot of stress on your joints whereas swimming you're floating so there's literally zero stress on your joints if any and that would probably be a very tiny amount and i haven't really made a talking video in a while where i'm face to face with the camera i'd always be voicing over But if you're wondering where this is, it's in the Alps, the, Alte the Altalian, Italian Alps. And I'll definitely recommend if you haven't been. The hotels are pretty cheap. It's like £50 per person a night. That's with breakfast included. And at the one I'm at as well, it has like a, it has a sauna, it has a jacuzzi. All of this stuff for like £50 a night is basically so cheap. I don't even know how the guy is making a profit, but who knows? He might be laundering money or whatever, but I'm not complaining. Got a cheap hotel. And the air is honestly so fresh. When I got to the peak of, I don't know, is this a mountain? If you can see the top, I'm pretty sure the peak was somewhere up there. It was a very big peak and there was snow at the top i didn't even think it was snow at first i thought it was just gravel and i don't know rock formations and whatever but it was actually snow i'll probably insert a couple pictures of what it was like but the oxygen was definitely a lot thinner and i could feel it am i going the right way i've forgotten it's been like four hours a lot of time has passed since i was at the bottom of the mountain but the oxygen is a lot thinner and you can definitely feel it for the same amount of work that you oh i can take a shortcut for the same amount of work that you do like halfway down the mountain or at the bottom of the mountain you can what i'm trying to say is there's not a lot of oxygen i just lost my train of thought which makes it a lot harder to move around and therefore it takes a lot slower to get to the top of the mountain but I'm pretty sure I was, also, I was also in the clouds, which was very weird. And it's not like I haven't gone hiking before. It's just been a very long time. It's been like three or four years since I've been abroad, just because of school and stuff. And you can definitely tell that I've put on a bit of weight from my face compared to probably last summer. I have been on the bulk. And, you know, when you're on a... When you're on a holiday you're really trying to enjoy it and eat as much food as possible i guess because it doesn't happen too often so i've definitely been eating a lot more than i should be
Let me turn the camera so you can see what it looks like. I'm pretty sure that's all snow up there. It has to be. Because I thought the other stuff was gravel, but it wasn't. And near the beginning of the video, you did hear a lot of cows. And I was kind of... I was, they, they kept on staring at me, so I was thinking maybe they might ram me. Or try to run into me, but no, they're pretty chill, so... I was fine. I also found a beaver on the way down. I didn't expect to see any wildlife. Obviously, apart from the cows, because they probably belong to someone. And they are fenced in. It's like an electric wire. I did actually touch it, and it wasn't too bad. It's just a micro shock. But I saw a beaver. I saw... I think it was a baby mole. It fully climbed onto my shoe. And if I didn't see where I was walking, it, uh, it must have been like this tiny. It was, it was absolutely minuscule. So... I would have, it would have got turned into mush. So I was, it was pretty lucky that I was watching where I was going and where I was stepping. Surprisingly, I didn't see any eagles. You'd expect to see eagles at this altitude. And I saw one lizard. It was honestly, if anything was the real life venom, it would honestly, it would be that. So I didn't even think of touching it because who knows if it was poisonous or not. And I don't think there's any snakes up here because it's just, it's too cold for snakes to exist. Because they're obviously cold-blooded, so they want warmth. It's way too cold for snakes. But I'm telling you, all of these leg days that I've hit, it definitely paid off because, especially on the way down, the amount of impact that your knees take, I'll definitely be feeling my joints. I don't think my quads, my quads really haven't burnt up at all. My calves have felt it a little. My knees, like I said, especially on the way down, well, I did feel the impact quite a bit. And also your feet. I'm walking in not the best shoe wear. You can see those are some uh, black Air Forces. And I'm pretty sure, because everyone I've seen walking up and down this trail, has not, they've all got all of these boots on. I just decided to walk up and down in the trainers I've got because I haven't got any boots. And those were the probably those were probably the first black air forces up on the top of that mountain. And I'm sure the cows felt the the aura. That's why they didn't attack me. They had to think twice. Hey, you can probably hear the bells now. Here's some more cows. If you are wondering the way I got here or what I'm doing here, we're just driving around instead of taking plane because plane is just kind of boring. You get to you get from point A to B instantly and you can't really explore too much because you haven't got a car or something. That's the electrical fence. You can see how thin that wire is and it barely does anything. But this is the gate that I came through. And there's actually not much more to go. I've dragged this on for long enough. So make sure you like and subscribe. And chat to you later.